Hi guys, so I am back with a custom order for Deborah. Uh, Deborah wanted a a soft cover to signature journal, and she wanted um, oh I forget the name of this fabric. I'm sorry, but she wanted uh, this cover. She wanted no rosettes, and she wanted no shine nor bling. <laughs> So this is what I came up with. Oh, I don't want to mess up here my little uh, concoction that I have for recording. Hold on. So this is what I came up with. Um, it's a two signature journal and I have some pretty lace and a little bow here with another little applique bow on top but there's no no bling and I stitched uh, this uh, Audie Maze there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, designer paper that I use I have Seneca Pond if I remember as I go through I will let you know I have a nice little chunky tassel hanging here and it's removable I have a grommet here and then I have a little girl with some flowers and a little um, heart that says uh, made with love that Aaliyah sent me. Thank you, Leah. And then I have a beautiful applique for the spine, but there are no rosettes or nothing. And then the back I left plain. And I have metal corners. Uh, and then I have this really dainty uh, lace that I stitched and it's stitched all around and the fabric is inside and out so let's get right into it and it's got seam binding as a closure so the inside looks like this I have a library pocket here. This is Seneca Pond and it's her, her library card. And then letter from the bookmaker. And then I have a glassine bag with some crochet trim and a applique flower. And I don't think I put anything in there but um, I'll be sending a goodie bag. And then some more. Uh, crochet trim down there and a little uh, label down here all the laces on the edges have been sewn onto the page I have a little flip here and a little um, journaling card there some collage here with cheesecloth and fibers and then I have here some journaling cards that have been backed onto coffee dyed paper. Some of the journaling cards are backed onto coffee dyed paper or uh, eco dyed paper or avocado dyed paper. I ran out of my avocado and eco dyed paper, but I managed to get some for the tags. So then I have a lace. Uh, belly band there and I have a little booklet with some uh, trim here and it opens up like this so it has that for extra journaling and that just gets tucked right back in there and then I have a pocket here that has some trim here and it's been stitched onto the page and some notes with some trim down here and then this is a little flip out here and you can use this as a tuck as well. So this is some avocado dyed paper. A little bit of a, a sheet here. I think this is from Ghostly Rose, I can't remember. 
Then we have a large glass seam bag here, or a merchandise bag, I should say. This, I believe, is from Seneca Pond Craft, and I think this is her shabby rose uh, kit, and that has been stitched onto coffee dyed paper. You have trim there. Have some tab here. Another, um, some lined paper here with some roses, a label. Here you have a little side tuck here, and I just have one of these cards with a little bow that I stitched on. Beautiful paper from Digital Collage Club, I believe that is. This is some children's writing paper, and um, I left this open in. Uh, this is Seneca Pond Craft. This is her strawberry uh, mason jars, but this is open in case you want to put something else in there. Another uh, uh, lace belly band um, pocket that's been stitched onto the page. And this is another journaling card. And this opens up for extra journaling. Here is a little mason jar, just put a bow and magnetized it. And it also is a, I left it open for extra journaling space. I believe this is uh, also Seneca Pond or Nectar's Creation, I can't remember. And then we have these postcards from the Digital Collage Club. This has been that backed onto avocado dyed paper. This is Seneca Pond. So cute, these little file uh, folders. This opens up. And then this pocket. This is Seneca Pond Craft, her little mason jar kit. And that goes in there some vintage music sheet and I just print it on some birds. Let me see if I can bring it closer so you can see it. And here is butterflies. Here's a little tuck with another postcard. Some onion skin paper. And then this is Seneca upon her ledger um, uh, paper. And then I have these little tags here and a bingo card backed onto eco dyed paper. And then I made a little envelope here with Edith Holden paper, put some trim there. And it doesn't have anything in it, but again, I'm going to be sending a goodie bag, so you'll have something to put in there. Another little tug spot here. And then I have a little uh, charm here, which is a little key hanging from the lace. Right here, hanging with a bow pin. Here I have a little fabric pocket, and I just have a little tag here. And I just stitch a little fabric pocket there. This is Edith Holden. And in here I just have some equal dyed paper for extra journaling. And a little die cut flower there. This is Oh, I can't remember. But I just framed it out with some lace and a little applique flower there. Some more Edith Holden. And here I hinged it with, um, I hinged this with some, um, wait, let me just pull this out. Let me just fix this. This is, um, extra journaling and it goes in this little pocket. I hope I was not out of frame, but 
this is hinged with two little applique bows and just in case I was out of frame let me just show you this I framed this out with some uh, lace and let me just show you this little um, fabric pocket that I stitched on there stitched on another fabric pocket here and use that as a little money can you let Jenny know that I'm in the middle of a video I'll call her back and here I have a little fabric tip in and some little tabs there this is Seneca Pond ledger paper Seneca Pond ledger and onion skin paper here is another uh, uh, music sheet that I printed on and I printed on on this side as well and then here we have a side tuck and I just put some lace on the side more uh, tracing paper I think this is Nectar's Creation Letters to Rose beautiful kit as well here I have a canvas doily and some uh, crochet trim this flips up and down for extra journaling onto coffee dyed paper and I left it open in the back with eco dyed whoopsie eco dyed paper another uh, pocket here and another tag butterflies and another mason jar that I just dyed a little uh, bow and it opens up for extra journaling and a little postcard flips out for more journaling beautiful rose paper here's another little tag with some trim at the bottom and another collaging here going on and this flips down another little bingo card on equal dyed paper and this flips open more crochet trim at the edge of this bag and you have a big journaling card you can actually even put a photo here if you want to and here I have this uh, baggie and this is in the back this is a postcard with avocado dyed paper and then in the back I left it open and it has a another bingo card with eco dyed paper and then this opens up with eco dyed paper and you can journal here and it closes right back up And then slide this because this becomes a little pocket. Here we have a little postcard tag, avocado dyed paper. Here's another pocket, another little cute little bow there, crochet trim. This opens up. And then here, more journaling cards. And a little lock here. Another belly band, and this one holds a little envelope. And I have nothing in it, it's Velcro, but again, you will get a goodie bag. And you could put anything in there. Here I have a little flip, 
for extra journaling and it has crochet trim here and this is a crafty arena but in a larger scale and then you have that little tag there that goes there and then back here you have this tag opens up I'm not gonna open it to save time but it opens you undo it here and it opens and then back here you have another Seneca pond um, little file thingy and then it's even open in the back as well so lots of space if I can get it back in here's another little fabric tip in and another mason jar from Seneca Pond Craft these mason jars are super cute that goes in that pocket and then here you have another pocket with more postcards another little booklet and a bingo card and these are Seneca Pond Crafts Bingo so cute and two more journaling cards and in here we have another folder tag and another little envelope and this one has a little journaling card And all of that goes back in there. Here you have another little fabric tip in. And I have backed these fabric tip ins with Pelon so that way they don't fray. Little half sheet and a large journaling card and more crochet trim. Edith Holden, another, oopsie, ow, that one hit my head, <laughs> there's got to be a better way, <clears throat> another uh, notes with some crochet up here, and this one as well opens up, you just undo it up here, goes in there, more uh, printed vintage music paper and a beautiful rose on the back side a bookmark that I just uh, backed onto avocado dye paper and put a little bit of trim there more Seneca Pond paper, more ledger paper, ledger paper, another tab, a little bingo card, what equal died, you can see the rose uh, leaf or petal. I've just stitched around um, with my machine on this flap and this is Nectar's Creation. I just fussy cut the bird and the rose and this is open for extra goodies to put in. Another fabric pocket. And another little one of these. These are so cute. And this one opens up. And this one flips down again. Okay, 
tracing paper. This one comes up and down for extra journaling and is open in the back. Equal dye paper. Children's writing little tiny card here. Beautiful card. I have a little cuckoo clock here and a little heart down here. Little label up here for a date or something. Oh, this one bend it. More avocado dyed paper in there. Another frame with a little bird here. A little applique flower. Another mason jar. So there's still room for you to add your own things. Another fabric tippin. Another fabric a little pocket. Stitched on. And here you have another one of these hinged on with those little bow appliques. And there's yet another little... I'm so awkward right now because I'm trying to pull this out with the without bumping the camera because it already hit me. Let me see if I can. I got it. One of these. Avocado dye paper. Another flip. And setting up on again, lime paper, onion skin paper. This is Seneca Pond's bingo cards. This is Artie Mays here. This is an altered uh, alterations tag and I just Use it for a tag. This is Audie Mays here. And the kit I used for Audie Mays was her Majestic Birds. Here I have another booklet in this uh, like lace type belly band. And this has coffee dyed paper. Another crafty arena pocket, and it has another little guy here, and another guy here. And another guy here. And this is Edith Holden. Another little tab. A little postcard there. Last seen bag or merchandise bag. And this is another one of those that open with eagle dye. I'm not going to pull it out because you already saw what it looks like. The postcard stitched on. And another postcard stitched on. And another card.
second bingo card. And this is magnetic. And another pocket here. And this is the back. And in the back I just have two tags. And here in this glass seam bag I just have one of these little telegram things. with some crochet, a little button, vintage button, a little um, little bow applique there and my stamp, crochet, and a little label and that is the back. So I hope you like it Deborah. Um, I'll be coming back with a Peter Rabbit journal that I have for the shop and um, and I'm also going to show a little golden book Beauty and the Beast that my sister just finished for her shop so stay tuned for those and yeah that is that is that I will be right back guys thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon